soon there could be more surveillance monitoring Salinas City streets in the form of 60 new flock cameras. Some residents welcome them as a proactive safety measure. You can never be too safe, you know. While others say it's too much and are fearful it could be an invasion of privacy. Yes, it can help safety, but sometimes it can make a person see that you're being watched all the time. This comes after Salinas PD was granted $3 million part of the Justice Assistance Grant centered around crime prevention and control. They hope to use that money to install the 60 new flock cameras and 12 surveillance cameras. In addition, it would fund two new vehicles and two employees to assist with investigations. No funds would come out of the city's budget. The final approval now sits with the city council. What I'm hearing from the police officers is that we need double, if not triple, the amount of these cameras. Police relying heavily on technology as the department is critically understaffed with about 20 vacancies as of last month. Some city leaders say while these cameras won't replace an officer, these staffing levels are forcing them to get creative. We have a lot of vacancies, um, so we can't just keep our arms crossed and say, well, nobody wants to be a police officer anymore or, well, uh, we can't hire fast enough. We need to do something. These cameras can be seen in cities all across the Central Coast, like Seaside, Watsonville and Hollister, among others. Groups like the ACLU have openly denounced these cameras, calling them a mass surveillance system that's, quote, dangerously powerful and unregulated. But city leaders and police are reassuring the public they are focused on any privacy concerns. There's always going to be a conversation had around privacy. We have expressed that concern to our city attorney. So he's he's done a great job about um, looking into policy to make sure that we're protecting folks' uh, privacy.